Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Monster Sanctuary with me, Jalanon, at Luna Nebula Gaming. So, if I read things right, we do actually learn something from that other clock, and it is how to open this. Ah, uh -huh. okay, so... Now what do I do here? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That did nothing? Hmm. So, yeah. How are you? Huh. Well, I'm stumped. Um. Secret vision? Okay, I can't go through there. We already tried to tackle it, I think, so. Yeah. Can't jump up there. Tried to summon the big rock under it. Okay, so apparently we need a monster with the Levitate ability. There are four. None of them I have. Vertrog, who we just faced here, uh, we could maybe get... Maybe. So maybe we try for that. I don't know if we can find Vertrog again here. We might have to go back to the Sanctuary anyway. So it's a little bit of a walk. But if we can get a Vertrog egg, then maybe, just maybe. We'll be happy campers. Maybe. Nope! Okay, so <laughs> we'll have to come back, but it's like Terradryl, Veritrog, Diavola, and then some merman with a trident. Like, it starts with a V, I think. Vidodine or something? Hmm. So, yeah. Nope, we're not finishing that at the moment. Unfortunate. We do have the reward boxes. You know what? Let's open some of those. A needle. No thread. Unfortunate. A bow! Okay, each attack triggers an additional 20% damage hit. That could be really good for somebody that likes multi-hits a lot. A giant seed, I think we don't really need that, but you know what? We'll take it. A scroll. Okay, level badges, and then reward box level. Okay, random egg, that might be helpful. Switch stone. A Rackledge egg. Light shifted. Scorch egg. And then, Charging Sphere. Ooh, gain a charge stack at the start of every turn. That could be good for a charging team. And then Craft Boxes, we're very close, I feel like, to keep a master, so we'll, we'll think about that. In the meantime, I will be going back and probably finding Trevisan again, so I will see you in a bit. All right, dear viewer, we got an achievement unlocked, practice makes perfect, and finally defeated the Dracozool with, uh, <laughs> basically, Stampede, Chewy, or not Chewy, Kitsune, and Wrath Ops. So what I did was try to focus on the charging, burning assault thing, and stealing buffs, and weakening them, basically. And then stacking a bunch of bleed, and that worked pretty well. Because when I tried to go with Brutus, we couldn't protect Brutus sufficiently over enough turns for the one-punch combo to really go in when there were other monsters with that keeper. So now we can turn Drakonov into a Drakazula. So that should be cool. Um, other than that, let's go double check. If we can't talk to Trevi. Alright, Trevi. Should be over here still, right? And then we might try to find somebody with a Grimora, huh? Let me think. Did I come across any other traces of champion monsters? There was this strange pipe in Sun Palace up on the tower that's in the center of the area. I heard a story about a certain type of spirit that could be summoned by lighting a pipe. Perhaps you could try using fire on the pipe? Yep. Okay, that's what I had remembered back in the day. All right. Sun Palace. Sun Palace, I guess. Okay. We go up here. And I could switch out Dragon off to somebody else. I think it's right here. Yeah. So, who wants to ignite this? Apparently not well. Okay, there we go. And the peace pipe. Hello. Well, not so peaceful now. Congo. I think it's based off of that, uh... Oh, you're level 28. Um, this should go pretty well. Um, yeah, we'll go with Brutus, I suppose. Why not? Okay. So we can Mega Protect. Probably no real need to. But we'll try. Uh, Quicken might be useful. 
And then Heavy Punch is not going to be quite enough. I could use Power right now so that we could get Might on everybody. It's one reason why Bird the Bard is a good swap in for Kitsune sometimes. Hmm. Okay. But maybe we can kind of get away with a uh, quick champion KO. That'd be kind of nice. Hmm. You don't have any buffs I need to steal. So I guess we just do some fiery stabbing. There we go. And then heavy punch. Okay. It is like half our level, so. Almost a one shot, but not quite. Hmm. Impale seems good. There we go. Alright then. Five stars. Not six stars. Okay. Well, we get the ornate pipe and a Congo egg. Alright then. Try to remember what. I think it's Kamai Tachi, is the wind weasel. It's like the wind is so sharp it'll slice you up in Japanese mythology, I think. Hmm, because Kama is sickle, if I remember it. Anyway, I bet that's what it's based off of. Uh, moving on. Let's hatch a Kanko. How are you? We will name you Kamai Tachi because we can. Okay then. I could hatch a Scorch. I'm pretty sure I don't have one yet. I'm not certain of that. We have one Fungi Egg as well. We got a lot of eggs, to be honest. And more Dragonov Eggs we will probably need to hatch in order to evolve them into the proper dragons. Uh, yeah, we can worry about that now, maybe. We have an ice stone, so let's go ahead. Okay, ice stone on... Where did you go? There you are. There we go. Dracazool. So now, all your skills should be completely reset, Dracazool. Okay, you have Chilling Wind. And I think what we wanted on you was basically the sidekick buffs. Buffing shield, dragon mastery, actions by dragon supply, a debuff to all enemies based on the element. Ooh, so yeah, that's cool. Hmm, and then, okay, your sidekick support is over here. We definitely want that. The buffing shield doesn't sound half bad. And then we can get multi-sidekick. I, yeah, it's kind of a no-brainer. Sub-Zero, chill causes enemies affected by it to take more damage. That seems very good. We'll think about it. I'm gonna look at what the one guide said before I go too much further. I just remembered Psychic was important. We can get multi-chill. And we can have every first critical hit of ability applies to chill. Probably just from Draco. But if we could get that on Draco Noir, it's a lot of chills. Okay, Flash Freeze, ooh, okay. Yeah, that combos pretty well, and we can get Avalanche, maybe. Mana Focus, Mana Overload. Okay, okay, we definitely want Dragon Mastery, I think. We could also get Multi Barrier and Dragon Skin. We are dragons, so, you know, all well, this team is dragons. So, that seems pretty cool. Alright, not just because it's a blue dragon with chilling effects. Hmm, so, we got to the pipe. Do you have any other important information for me. Back for more, huh? Let me think. Did I come across any other traces of champion monsters? I've heard the fishermen at the eastern border of Horizon Beach talk about a hideous monster that seemed to be humanoid in shape. Ah, here we go. According to him, it must live in the underwater caves beneath the eastern border. All right then, Horizon Beach. Let's go over here and find this merman. And I think we'll keep our current team for now, but we could think about changing it out. Do I want to go over there? Nah. We can go up here with our blob friend in tow. Fall down here and be sad. Never mind. I need Draco Nord, don't I? Save me! Or not. That, I guess, works too. Okay. Fine. We'll go the other way, maybe? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That was just for this? Why? Oh, okay, it's further up. Okay. Go here. Then we run into danger. Hmm. Also, I never hatched that shock copper egg, did I? Hmm. We've got our giant tackle, so we can just buff that. 
Let's lava shield to get some armor breakage. And some stealthiness. I could fire breath. No, we don't want to fire breath. What am I thinking? Lightning missile. And then, because this is an ultimate, we can ram charge. And that seems pretty good. Okay. It's not enough, but pretty good. And they're not buffing themselves, which is actually not great for us, because we want them to buff themselves, so then we can steal it. But oh well. Hmm. Take this spear volley. And then an assault of lightning upon your senses. And flurry of blows. That works. Okay. So that took two turns. Only four stars, because we took some health damage, huh? Fine. I mean that way. Um, let's see. How do we get down here? We just fall. Okay. Falling with style. Rathops, take me a little bit faster, please. Thank you. Okay, where, oh, where can this merman be? Hmm. Well, we can go back against the current if we need to. They said the eastern border, right? So, I guess we have to go back east. Hmm. Alright. Back east we will go. To the land of oh, wait, wait, wait. I see it on the map now. Where there is, in fact, a nice little place I've never explored, eh? Hmm. A place where a morphling and a changeling could explore. Wonderful. Alright then. Hmm. Let's maybe take out... I don't know. Who can crush stuff easily? I guess we're still going Wrath Ops. Alright. Check the walls. Deck the halls. It's almost time for Christmas. Anyway. Hmm. Who else punches stuff well? You punch stuff well. Okay. Nope. Nope. Not well enough. Okay. Here we go. Going to ignore that wall, am I? Uh, no. Curse my need to check every wall. Okay. <laughs> Didn't seem like it worked, but sometimes you just gotta check. So we'll go left first, because why not? Ah. Mega potion. Okay. I don't feel the need to check that wall, which is probably. probably fine. Because this seems like the gimmick of this area, and it's too thin for me to really change form as far as I can tell until here. Okay. Now we check. No. No. It's fine. It's fine. We go here. I can sense a very powerful presence in this room. It's a champion monster, but it's even stronger than regular champion monsters. Be prepared. That's right. Well, we don't have a giant evil lion singing in our ears, so I think we're pretty prepared. That's right. Aha! Yes. Merman. Vodanoi, which I think might be Russian. I don't know, though, so... Hmm. You know what? I think I want to take Wrath Ops, Bird the Bard, and Brutus. This might be foolish, but we're going to try. Mega Protect. Okay, and then Bird the Bard. Could do a Weakening Shield. You know what? That makes sense. We're going to do this. All right, get that weakness up. And then we are going to power focus. Focus your chi. All right. Okay, still alive, but very bloody. Ooh, okay, well, could have been worse, I suppose. Lava shield. Then we could do the menace song. Sure, let's do that on you. Then we get some extra healing as well, because of our cool instruments. Then we can do a heavy punch, which seems like the best idea. We didn't get power up in Adam, no might bonuses, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Brutus is still very much needing HP, it looks like, or defense, or both. Hmm. So I could try to keep going, but I think we just use a smoke bomb. There we go. But now we know Brutus, Brutus, Brutus. We have 4,000 HP, and it's still not enough, huh? So I guess we get rid of the bandana. For maybe defense and mana regen. Hmm. 
elk mana region? I think we go with the bracelet for now. All right. We may not even need the mana region since you do have lower mana costs thanks to some of your skills. Okay. We can also, of course, try our other team. Hmm. Try the dragon team or the proper equipped Oculus team. You know what? Let's, let's try the originals. Let's go for it. All right. Do you guys still hold up? I think you probably do. Okay, we can Voltage, we can Ignite. Let's Spore for the weakness. Because clearly this thing still hits pretty hard. No need for Aurora Shield yet. Uh, let's Ice Shield. Get those Chill Stacks. Get the damage and everything. We can Glory Cast, we can Life Wave for extra Shield. I think we Life Wave. Yeah. Okay, we get this, an Aging Stack. That's decent. Okay. That's three turns of damage. Now we Ion Beam. We got like one shock out of that, so not the best thing ever. Uh, we could safe cast, we can shield. I think we shield. And then hopefully Life Wave from Chewy will get rid of these bleed stacks. Yeah, okay. Okay, still pretty safe. Good job, Chewy. Though that was incredibly painful. Okay. We're still good. Still good. So we can voltage again. You don't have any burns though. So let's do that. Yeah, we get some poisons as well. Uh, I don't think Aurora Shield will get rid of bleed, but will it? This is a test, and we failed that test. Uh, life wave. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Still doing a lot better on health than the other team was doing, so that's nice. Okay, you have the fire damage now. You can add more voltage. You can also acid rain just for another debuff to decrease the attack against Oculus, but Oculus is doing fine. So I don't think we need to do that. Let's safe cast. There we go. And then we can sustain heal. That seems pretty good. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, Chewy is the one taking kind of the most damage, which makes sense. You're a tank, Chewy. That's what you do. So that's Ion Beam for damage, mostly, but we could get... Like, we got an extra armor break. That was kind of nice. Uh, safe cast seems good. We could full offense, but let's just stay safe. And we life wave some more. Yes. All right. Okay, well this... Okay, that's enough. Dang. Five turns for five stars. And a trident. Ooh. And a Vodnoid. So now we can levitate that crazy thing. All right. Defense, health, mana, and good attack. Okay. Well, considering how easy it is to KO Brutus, maybe... Maybe that's something we need on Brutus. But for now, welcome to the team, Vodnoid. How are you? My merman? Could name you Namor. Why not? It's a Marvel hero, right? Sometimes anti-hero. Uh, what do you do? Fiery stabs, as we know. Heal all monsters in the party by 4% of this monster's max health at the start of every turn. That's kind of nice. Critical base. So we don't want to give you crit chance equipment if we go with that. Lord of the Deep. Okay, so we can make aquatic monsters good. Yeah, they can do bleed just based on damage. Interesting. Okay. Ice Spear Volley seems pretty good on you then. If we want to go for a bleed build. Counter attack. Oh. Can't be dodged either. And increased critical chance. So full protect on you with the counter seems fun. Increased crit chance of the whole party twice. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty cool in my opinion. Bleed damage increased. Your monsters deal more damage when attacking an enemy with bleed stacks. I like it. I like it. Though you don't seem to have too many things that increase your... Oh, I take it back. You have health over here. Health over here. Yeah. Huh. 
I like it. Okay, so we can think about you, but you are an aquatic warrior, and we want to do aquatic with you. So that'd be an interesting team. Probably a bleed team. Morpheus can actually slot into there because you're anything, Morpheus. You can be anything. Hmm. So, yes. Hmm. Okay. Do we have any other good aquatics? Is Crack a Turtle aquatic? Wrong button. Ancient nature reptile. Unfortunate. Okay. So you are not an aquatic turtle. Fair enough. Hmm. Not a lid. We might be able to turn into an elder gel. And we've got this toucan crab. Okay. Well, that's cool. Hmm. Let's go open this treasure. Shift stone. And then we can tackle this wall for good measure. Okay. There was nothing left. Okay. Maybe we can get something from that fisherman? Levitate big boulders? Okay. So we can do that now. Let's go back into morph ball form. Jump. And we'll go talk to the fisherman. I might have collected all of the big shells or whatever exotic shells he was looking for. So that might be done as well. There we go. Seems like that left side... Either I just mistimed it quite a few times, or the left side was a little bit lower by, like, a pixel. So... I don't know. I thought you were not a lid for a second there. I'm sorry, not a lid. You have a completely different color scheme. Okay. Let's go. Our writing with our wrap-ups. Okay, then. Do you have anything for me? Ahoy, hoy! Remember our deal. Five rare seashells for a special monster item. Yep. All right, matey. I'll be waiting here. Okay, so how many do I have? Seashells? By the seashore? We have the Arimaya, which doesn't do anything else for us. Oh, I need one more! One more. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look up a map of that. It's Man, where have we not looked? <laughs> Probably less of a thing than I know. Maybe it'd be up in the other area. Hmm. Okay. Well then, I don't think we have too much time for an episode. So, I think we might just call it here, dear viewer. Leave a like if you've been enjoying Monster Sanctuary. Subscribe. To see more Monster Sanctuary, comment below on what you think of the possibilities we now have for teams, like Vatanoi. We could, we could definitely try for like a bleeding aquatic warrior build thing, which Luna actually does have Ice Spear Volley. Well, that's another thing. Hmm. But yeah, I hope you, dear viewer, have a great day.